In a shocking twist of things, Finance Minister Mtulinure says the country's local currency, the Zim dollar, is bad money we should be done away with. Speaking in a video that has since gone viral, Nure says the Zim dollar is driving away good money, calling it a surrogate currency. His comment comes at the same time the local currency is losing its purchasing power at an alarming rate, with prices of basic commodities skyrocketing. That are visible because politicians want to see something or to demonstrate to the country that there is activity, there is evidence of delivery. There are other things in the short term that can actually be done or you just have to rely on a long-term strategy. If you had asked me this question three years ago, and I was one of the first people to argue that Zimbabwe must adopt the South Africa Rand and join the Rand monetary area for a seven period, uh, seven year period or ten year period. Why? Because South Africa accounts for Zimbabwe's uh, exports in terms of 80% of all trade is with, with South Africa. So clearly you want a currency that is linked to your largest trading partner. But uh, I don't think I want to argue that now it, it, things have moved on. I did actually quite a lot of scientific research on that, on that issue. Uh, things have moved on now. I think we're at a new juncture. So what I would argue now is that we, we have to remove the, bo the, the bond notes uh, currency, which is becoming a surrogate uh, a Zimbabwe dollar, but with the, without the macroeconomic credibility, no monetary policy credibility to, to, to support it. So that should be removed because it is bad money. And we know that in economics, bad money drives out good money. It's not surprising that even the US dollars are now in short supply because people are not banking those keeping them under the mattress, to use a very simple phrase. So I would say the immediate course of action is to remove the bond notes, let this, the US dollar again be the core currency of focus. But over time, we have to bring back the Zimbabwe. Meanwhile, renowned world economic analyst Steve Hank is on record calling on the Harari administration to dump the Zim dollar and fully dollarize. Be that as it may, President Emerson Nangagwa Spokesperson George Charamba recently confessed that the country's economy is now fully dollarized. According to the recent Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe foreign currency auction result, the Zim dollar is now trading at a dollar to 1,888. Former Finance Minister Tendai Bid could not spare his thoughts on Mokulinowe. He said that only two weeks ago the rate was 1 is to 1,000. 1,000 was a flat 1 dollar. Now the rate is at 1 dollar to Four thousand zim dollars. This means in a mere ten days, working people in financiers have lost four hundred percent of their wages and patients. Truth is, the kakistrocracy has failed and failed in absolute terms. He went on to say, Mister Tulingwe came with the promise of stability and reform, but more than anyone else, he has cut himself as an incompetent, clueless charlatan, run and controlled by cartel, treasury. The natural gatekeeper has become the gate crusher. Thanks to Mutuli, state looting is now on steroids. And you also quoted what Mutuli Ngoe said when he came in. That was in October 2018. He said, if you give me six months, you will see changes, significant changes. I have only been a minister for one month. We need patience. We know what we are doing. What I can say to Zimbabwe is that they should give me six months to see the full impact of the changes from the from the policies that we have pursued.